There we go. Oh, hey everyone, when we up? Oh, hey everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with. Peace and might, Lieutenant Durkia, at your service. And what's in the campers? <laughs> and welcome to Showcase Sunday number 106. I think last week we had the number wrong, but I corrected that on YouTube at least, on the recording of that. Uh, if not, I'll just have to go through well, all of the previous 100 plus episodes to check out which uh, number we are actually on right now. And hello there, Marco. Are you doing well today? And hello, yeah, the reason, Marco. The reason I had that music playing here is because, yeah, the first game we'll be showcasing apparently doesn't have any menu music. So I thought better to have something playing than just complete dead silence. I'll have to put something in as an actual source uh to start that up when well there's just dead silence at the start but yeah for anyone new uh, what we do on a showcase sunday is that we try out a few games for about half an hour each maybe shorter if they're just no fun or just boring or bad whatever or and, not working yeah or uh, yeah, we'll see if there are any good for streaming and for some other time. We've gotten a good amount of a good amount of good games from this. Some a bit less, but yeah, that's just going to happen when you try out games. You're going to find some bad apples. Uh, let's see, Marco, I'm okay. Watched the FNAF movie yesterday. Okay, how was it? I've heard that it was pretty good. Also, yeah, I realize I forgot this. Not bad, but not good. But yeah, I, I may watch it sometime myself. But I have feel like I've been slowly going, moving away from FNAF. Uh, yeah, with, with FNAF, I find it more interesting to uh, to watch people theorize about it than to actually play them myself, since I haven't touched any of them. Yeah, well, I say, touched like, the mobile one, but that yeah. doesn't really count, I'd say. Mm. Yeah, I like the lore and the theories, and it was anyone watching the gameplay, but I will not play it myself. Mm, yeah. Something I learned yesterday is that MatPat is actually in the movie in a bit role at the very start or something. <laughs> yeah, I think I heard of that. I think I also heard Markiplier is part of it. Yeah, a lot of YouTubers they put into it from what I've heard. But uh, yeah, let's uh, start with the game. I don't think I need to explain too much about Power Wars Simulator. It's quite literally in the name. You play as a power washer and, well, the game simulates that. <laughs> Look, Markiplier isn't in the movie. Okay, that's uh, an odd one. All Since right. he is the quote-unquote king of Five Nights at Freddy's. But yeah, this game... You can play it co-op with, well, two to six people, depending on how things are. There is a story that goes throughout these, uh, through the career stuff. But it's own, it's mostly just in little pop-ups that appear between things. These bonus jobs is something that, uh, let's see, some of these I think are... Actually, no, it's not on... I don't think any of these are repeats from the other ones. Uh, let's see, career, and then there's free play, okay, location vehicles, there was something, let's see, where was it, there are extra missions, hmm, okay, I, I have, as you can see, I have played through this game's entire quote-unquote uh, story, and there are extras, where are they, up, up in the freaking specials, and uh, yeah, they are adding these extra things. Some are paid DLC, some are free added. I'm not actually. I'm not sure if these are, if this one is paid DLC. I think some are. <laughs> Marco immediately in all caps. But yeah, as a Tomb Raider fan, I can say I'm quite well. I'm quite happy with these being here. So let's actually go do one of these. Uh, wait, didn't I? Oh right. I thought for a moment, wait, did it put me back at the start? But no. So, uh, yeah, let's go clean Lara Croft's obstacle course and quad bike. Let's see. Your work on the house was impressive, and I'm not easily impressed. I can you know, almost see dear old Rose taking her 11 C's out on the western lawn. The heck is that supposed to mean? Winston was the butler even way back uh, then, apparently. 
Anyway, to the back of the manor you'll find my obstacle course, an invaluable training aid in periods of convalescence, and beyond it, my trusty quad bike. They've both suffered terribly over the years, the obstacle course, of course, at the hands of the British weather, the quad bike at the hands of yours truly. I trust you, you like a challenge as much as I do. You, you don't remember Elevensis? Mm, no. It, it was mentioned that her first Lord of the Rings movie is actually okay. a, a British thing. <laughs> Anyways, let's start the timer. Though I very much doubt we'll do a full, uh, a full 25 to 30 minutes of this. And yeah, let, let's see. An obstacle course may seem an eccentric choice for the grounds of an archaeologist. Uh, let's see, what was the yeah. trick with this again? There is, yeah, there we go. Right click just keeps it going constantly. But not all archaeologists like to sit around and dust off artifacts at a museum. <laughs> Too true. Uh, let's see, it's been a bit since I played. So. There. And we can go with the wider ish nozzles. Let's see, what was the button to rotate that? Um, I think I think what it said there was some like to dig it a little deeper. There are. And I believe there is a button to basically go into a more free aim. And yeah, your goal is to just clean all the stuff up that you find as best as to your ability. And where what button was that again? Uh Q C Oh there we go. Now it's more free aim. Because otherwise you'll have to be you'll be walking side to side a lot of stuff. Uh, this isn't too uh, exciting of gameplay, obviously, but this is played a lot more like a chill game. And well, yeah. since you can play with other players, it, you can also just be doing dumb stuff <laughs> all the time. Oh yeah, I've seen a lot of the dumb stuff people do, like the really <laughs> shiny ones, like drawing a certain organ. <laughs> But yeah, this is a good game, but since we typically stream more for story, and like I said, there is story in this, just more at the beginning and ends of and certain milestones during missions, uh, I'd say I, I would say this game would be on a no for that, but I would be willing to stream it every now and then to just, uh, yeah, shoot this, uh, what's it saying again? Just, uh... Yeah, as for chill streams. Uh, let's see. Marco, my friend who blew up on Twitch recently draw, drew a swass. Uh, oh. I'm going to presume that there is supposed to be a few more, let a few more letters after that uh, word. Uh, yeah, I'm not going yeah, to but I think that's a saying. Yeah, because that's pro that is definitely going to uh, get the attention of the moderators. Yeah, and yeah, combining yeah. that with what you said re last, yeah, re yeah, last time about that uh, group, uh, that class group chat, I'm getting very concerned about the people who you, well, who you, uh, not hang around with, but the people near you, uh, Marco. Yep. Especially with ongoing matters. Uh, let's see, there is a... I am concerned. There is a button to see how much or where there is still dirt and everything, but I, I forgot another one as well. Let's in the middle of that red white band in front of your nose. It's up since... That you've been skipping past several times. It's, uh, and I don't is... know why it annoys me. Uh, show dirt tab. A uh, little bit here, yeah. There we go. Okay. There's still some on this. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Might... Yeah, there's more on the on that side yeah. also in the middle of the red uh, white band thing. Yeah. Uh, but like I said, this game is a bit of uh, just a relaxed game. Yeah, uh, I do feel concerned over how many people try to get a job with power washes after this. 
Yep, that's the top done. The strategy I have with this is to basically just go from one side to another and don't stop washing something until it flashes blue like that to indicate that it's clean, or at least clean enough for the game to count it as clean. Like that. Because otherwise you will end up missing some li tiny little bits here or there, like that. That's going to drive you absolutely mad as you try to find it. As we saw happen to me a moment ago, and I was not even playing it. I saw him <laughs> pass by a dirt spot several <laughs> times. Yeah. <laughs> and so much, it, I don't know why it drew, so it made me angry. I should not be angry <laughs> with something like that, but... Yeah. Yes, just, just a tiny little ledge around the side here that is just easy to overlook. So yeah, let's just let's just do a little bit more of this and then we'll move on to the next game. Because like I said, there is story. It's just that there's a whole lot of dead air in between. And I'd probably get really freaking annoyed trying to find all the little bits that I'd eventually still miss, even with the strategy I mentioned. Yeah. And plus doing this the whole day, the whole time during a stream is not good for the rest. Yeah, I, I, and from my side here, I would probably struggle to commentary and end up getting very annoyed over every time you just walk by a spot without realizing it. I don't... Uh, I, I, I think I know why I might get annoyed when I see that. I think I had several times seen people just in buildings. They You see them going, they clean the building, but you still see a lot of spots on the floor. They, which makes it clear that I just quick wash it, I just ignore all the black marks from shoes and bikes. Yeah. That's and a marker. From, also from uh, whenever I need to clean something, but there's that, like that one spot that somehow refused to get clean. Okay, now there's a little bit on this here somewhere there. Okay. Oh, yeah, now I think about it. It could also from me cleaning my glasses when my glasses refuse to get clean. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, probably more reason why I probably don't enjoy washing this uh, washing. <laughs> Watching this game. Uh yeah. yeah, some It is nice to just see the progression from that to clean. But uh, yeah it, it would also it would also probably be rather boring to watch and such. Uh, we'd probably have to put up music of our own. Uh, and with that, I don't remember. I don't know how uh, strict Twitch is with that, so that would be another issue. Hmm. I, I, I have tried. I think at one point or another to have some background music or something with videos that was from a, from copyright-free radio stations, and they still got copyright claims on them. So, yeah, it could just be legit stuff, could just be bullshit companies trying to squeeze people for a few bucks because of ignorance on the matter or something. Yeah. yeah speak, speaking of, and yesterday I, I was actually uh, contacted by one of those art scammers. Uh. So yeah, I got them banned off someone's uh, uh, yeah, off someone else's server. Now I should probably actually ban them from our server as well, just preemptively. Probably a good idea. And also, when I think about it, many music companies have become very infamous for trying to copyright music that are not theirs against the smaller independent music artists. Yeah, like. Uh, one of my friends, DJ Kiske, they make their own music. They even do it on commission every now and then. And yeah, some fuckheads try to claim their music. So yeah, that just shows that there's a lot of bullshit going on with that as well. Yeah, and most of the time, many of these the, the, uh, artists, especially the smaller ones, won't be able to defend themselves. Many of the ones that got a bit more bigger have been able to get able to defend themselves. Yeah, because so the companies right. can just uh, yeah, wait out the, the legal system 
and let the, uh, the basically the smaller stuff they basically out bribe the system because they can just uh, keep go keep something going for on and on and on because they can afford the lawyer costs but the other side can't so yeah they are basically playing the game playing the legal system like it's pay to win yeah it's horrible but when they do it to a lot of youtubers with a much larger subscription base yeah you don't even youtube gonna ignore that and there will be so many people getting angry over it that the music companies know that if they try it will come back to bite them yeah problem is they probably too ignorant to even realize it has already in some ways and them it, but it, even the uh, music artists who work with these music companies have spoken against them for doing that. It's and still even good. have some, some of you threaten their company that if you're gonna keep to continue this, we will leave for another company or start our own. Or those who can, depending if they were smart with their contrast and all. Yeah. But yeah, uh, you, you see, they, it can backfire badly against them. Yeah. I think the thing is that it's sort of similar with uh, cable companies that just do not like the free market on the internet where people can get a lot of, uh, can make a lot of money outside of them. And such is why they just fight against it so much. But it's, yeah, just. Uh, it's instead the music industry and yeah we're at that point where there's something on this that is still dirty as you can see in the little progress bar next to the circle the circle shows the well, percentage of everything cleaned there's uh, some little there yeah it, and I'm, there. I'm making bored of this some stains are a lot harder to get rid of. That is where you can get more powerful washers for. Like this is the end game one. So it, oh, it, it won't let me equip the other ones, it seems. Then we can also get a uh, soap nozzle to deal with specific stains. Then we need to buy these. And apparently I'm completely out for some reason. Hmm. Okay, but yeah. Uh, like I said, it would be fun for a bit of co-op, uh, chill stuff, but for story streaming, nah. Big nah. So, let me stop the timer and move on to another game, which is a lot, lot more of a chance of, well, <laughs> getting picked. <laughs> this is like a podcast, really? <laughs> Yeah, that, that is one way you could describe it. Yeah, you, it's more of a podcast game. And why? Yeah, there we go. I was about to say, why isn't it moving? And yeah, it's from one of our favorite uh, studios, Arcane, from Dark Messiah and Dishonored. Oh dear. Yeah, it's very obvious once you know the game. This is Prey. Okay. Uh, I've never played the game before. Why is it offering New Game Plus already? But, yeah. There is a lot about this game that is already known. Uh, survival mode options. Uh, let's not go with that. Let's just stay on normal. And just jump right into it. I have seen multiple videos. I never watched it to the end. To, he hasn't finished it by the time I started watching it. Okay. You wake up in your apartment in the year 2032. The timer is running now. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. Send the helicopter to pick you up. It's just a few tests. Don't forget to wear your suit. See you soon. Oh, listen. Uh, 
Really great you decided to come on board. We're gonna shake things up, Morgan. Like old times. Morning, Mr. Yu. Stand controls. Leaning, which is something that is becoming a bit rare in a lot of games. Uh, elevators? No, this. Yeah, I would put many of them, they ended up becoming not used. Okay, let's just get in. First day on the job. Luxurious thing. <laughs> Mr. Am... Yu, please make yourself comfortable and we'll be on our way. Transtar facility is just a short hop. Come on! 78 <laughs> degrees, clear skies all the way. Come on. Uh, no, I get it. Yeah, these are the intro credits. And... <laughs> That was better integrated into the, just the scenery than a lot of this. Uh, that is a bit more obvious, though. That's a nice view on the bay there. Oh, come on. We know what you did at our pain. <laughs> Good. Let's see. Marco, only nine years away. More like eight since this year will end soon. Wonder if there's a difference between picking male and female. I think mostly just. Actually, it's, I have seen this game being played through before, by being mostly. And I don't actually know if there is a difference. Like, you know, there's a typical you know, difference of uh, men, you being mentioned differently. But beyond that, I don't actually know. Statistically, I believe not at all. Those are some very 2D birds. Mr. Yu. Mind the glass on the way out. Good luck to you. Okay. I haven't said this one way. I thought this would how that here will you. look right. I'm a civil 495 science class operator. Let me do a little something. I thought let's see audio. Uh video. Okay. Sometimes what people like yeah, sometimes people like to hide where the subtitles is. Typically you find it on their audio, but sometimes it's on their freaking gameplay. Okay. My instruments are calibrated for high volume data analysis and live readings. Don't worry, nothing will be missed. Well, uh, Welcome, drone. Morgan Yu. You have a 9 a.m. appointment in the testing facility. Please confirm. <laughs> But yeah, like the uh, previous arcane games, this is very much an immersive sim game. Morgan, finally. Hey, you don't look terrible in a Transtar uniform. How's your eye? Still red? I know the test might seem a little unconventional, but it's a you family tradition. Breaking convention is in our blood. Once you start the test, just do whatever comes natural. Don't overthink it. Dr. Bellamy's gonna walk you through the process. You're in good hands. We'll Thanks. be in orbit next week. I promise. Mr. Yu, they're ready for your brother in room A. Right. Listen, just be yourself. I'll see you after. Let's see, Marco, maybe the female has a smaller hitbox and she is fast, and the male has a higher attack or is more tanky. Uh, this game counts as an RPG in part, but not like that. Uh, there are no, well, there are base stats, but I think they're basically the same between the characters. It's merely cosmetic, I believe. Hello? Good morning, Morgan. I'm Dr. Bellamy. Looks like we have some tests to run through today. Probably not the kind of thing you're used to, I imagine, but... 
Trust me, you're going to do fantastic. All good? Great. Let's begin. For this first test, I'd like you to remove the boxes from the red circle as quickly as you can. Just go with your gut. Okay? Wonderful. Press the red button when you're ready. There. Oh, glass one. Wonderful. That's... Uh, you're absolutely fine. Uh, let's move on to room B, then. We have a weird test, but okay. What's that? Mm. Was that the modern conf that looks like a flying gunk uh, <laughs> or gunk uh, droid from Star Wars? Kinda. Okay, Morgan, listen carefully. I'd like you to do your best to hide in this room. Take your time, relax, think it over. No, I'm kidding. You only have nine seconds. Hit the red button when you're ready to start. Hide here. <laughs> Okay. Look. Is he? He's hiding behind the chair. Are you you asked me to hide. Any sides at all? No? no? That's fine. Sorry, let's keep things moving, Morgan. Head into room C. You're doing marvelous. Yay. I don't trust his words. If he's mocking us. All right. Here we go. For this test, please press the blue button across the room as quickly as you can in the most natural, intuitive way possible without thinking. Just, just go for it. <laughs> press the red button when you're ready. I'm sorry, can someone please explain to me what's happening? Simmons? I installed exactly what Tina brought down. Did you double check? Speaker's still on. I apologize, Morgan. We're having some trouble with the equipment. Not your fault. You're doing fabulous, actually. One last room. Let's step into D. Okay. Yes. Can someone get me a cup of coffee? I would appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, Morgan. Have a seat at the table for me, please. Wonderful job. Take a look at the screen in front of you. I'm going to show you a series of questions. Pick the answer that makes the most sense to you. Press start on the screen when you're ready. Okay. Let's see. You're planning a vacation. Go somewhere familiar you know who you love, or try something new. Uh, personally, I'd like I'm, I like to go more to more familiar places. Good. Looks like you've got the hang of it. Keep going. Let's see. You've been sentenced to death for your actions. How does this make you feel? Uh, afraid that nothing will happen. Angry. No one has those rights. <laughs> oh, it was worth it. That's heavy stuff. Let's see. A runaway, a runaway train is bearing down on five people who are tied to the track. You can cause the train to switch tracks, but there is one person tied to the second track. The basic trolley uh, stuff. The, 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 the basic trolley dilemma. Like, it, the whole thing with it is, are you willing... You know, if you switch the track, you are actively condemning someone to death. And, but if you don't act, then you quote unquote can't be blamed or something like that. For which my perspective on that is bullshit. Good. Next. Let's see. A runaway train is bearing down on five people. You are standing on the platform next to an enormously fat man. Pushing him onto the track would stop the train. Uh, <laughs> this is basically the same, but... Uh, a bit more direct. 
I guess. Uh, sorry. Almost done. Uh, you could stop by jumping onto the track, but you will die. <laughs> Push the fat man again. Wow. I'm impressed. Well done. Well done. We're nearly through it. For this next part, I'm going to display an image. I want you to take a good look at it. In a moment, I'm going to ask you what... Uh, is my coffee? It's empty. Oh, no. In Soviet Russia, coffee drink you? Alex. Simmons, what's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? He's alive, sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. Got it. Oh, dear. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. Wasn't it Monday before? So, yeah, this looks like a real uh, hack job of a phone or whatever it's supposed to be, a PDA. Yeah, but again, I don't think it's like 232 yet. I doubt this is how our future will look. And when was this game released? 2019? Uh, somewhere in the tens, I think. Uh, da, da, da. We have you introduced to the fundamentals of modern analog and digital electronics. By the end, you will be able to construct any simple circuit. As Thomas Edison once said, to invent, you need a good animation, <laughs> imagination and a pile of junk. <laughs> Not sure if that's an actual quote, but okay. Okay, that, that is useful for uh, with, pick, with, yeah, with stuff you can pick up. If the... Uh, yeah, to allow you to pick up multiple things at once, because otherwise you'll just be going tap, 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 getting every little thing. Yeah, you know, sometimes it, that, it's a new individual. It really can be good, as long as you have the alternative. Let's see, the main layers of the blackened surface are like stored memories of all the meals that have gone in and out of the carbon steel bowl before, now imparting echoes of their rich flavor to every new meal that is uh, tossed to cook. Not sure if that's a good th thing or a good idea. You're supposed to clean your freaking wok plant and pan. And there, there is a, a wok restaurant. I, I think I'm saying it wrong, probably. So sorry if that sounds racist. Uh, if, if I'm pronouncing it in a way that sounds racist. But there is a restaurant like that nearby, and they are real good. Congrats, Morgan. Ooh. The methods that sign. We're here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd say you were full of it, despite that I'm riveted that he's not bolstering me himself. Maybe me? No. Alex leans back in his chair. Welcome to the age of the neuromods. Nope, that's not a black octopus thing. You're paranoid, aren't you? <laughs> uh, oh no, are you so... <laughs> Lots of books. I just realized, but well, you couldn't meet me in this game. Prop hunt, the deadly version. Uh, I was gonna go with Mimic Simulator. <laughs> Everything could be a mimic. <laughs> well, oh, things have oh, certainly yeah. gone to shit. Patricia Varma. Let's see, she has spare parts and a wrench. Well, it wouldn't be a game like this without, well, something to knock Hello, some sense Morgan. into shit. It's time we spoke. My code name is January. You're not dreaming. What happened yesterday was real. 
If you want to know what's going on, first, you need to get out of your apartment building. You're not safe. Now, so wasn't this a hallway earlier? Yeah. Hmm. But, uh... I think a lot of people have a lot of people who have heard about this uh, game uh, are kind of were kind of spoiled on what is to well what is about to happen. Also, why the hell is there a twist in the wrench like that? Oh yeah, I remember that. I always found it confusing. Anyways, yeah, we need to get out, but the, well, the freaking door is jammed, so. Yeah, the door's not even real. Good. You're in the simulation lab. Now get to the exit. I'll keep in contact. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay, I didn't hear from Okay. I remember something, something I watched recently. Hmm? There is a game we can peek between a guy or a, a, a man or a woman called Death Trap Dungeon. Sounds from. Oh, I think uh, Just Drive Hayes did a video on that somewhat recently. Yeah, he did, a, he did as well. And uh, both are same stats, both do about the same damage, same uh, health, and all that. Our people usually take the woman, I forgot her name. Because her attacks are slightly faster? Uh, nope. Smaller hitbox. Okay. For the guy is uh, really broad shouldered. Yep. Well, she, her hair is more lean, but then also. Yeah, if you see that video, you probably know uh, probably another reason people would pick her. Maybe the way she is quote unquote dressed. Yeah. <laughs> The Hephaestus Hefty Twist and Loop Up Handle Wrench is a sta yeah, standard issue for all maintenance personnel employed in Transtar, uh, <clears throat> in Transtar facilities. Good for liberal application of percussive maintenance, aka hitting it, and mechanical agitation, also hitting it. Mouse 1 to swing. Press and hold to charge for maximum damage. All wrench attacks will drain your stamina. Since this game uh, counts as an immersive sim, or is at the very least adjacent to it... Hello. ICOP 0876. Okay. That gets put in automatically and... Okay, self-repairing. Yep. Passwords you know get automatically applied. Let's see, reminder about company password policy. <laughs> That's we just pull a note, sticky note with it. Uh, do not share your password with anyone. Passwords are sensitive confidential information. Must not be inserted into uh, email messages. Transcribe uh, conversations or other forms of communication. Do not write down passwords and store them anywhere in your office. If you suspect your uh, password has been compromised, report it to IT immediately. Users will be held responsible for any activity that occurs on a workstation that has been compromised and not reported. Someone didn't read this. Uh, a note about this morning from Alex Yu to Neuromob Division. Uh, all. I know this morning's incident has left people shaken. To prevent unnecessary panic, please refrain from contacting people outside of your department. A station-wide announcement will be made shortly. In the meantime, Miss Elazar and her security team are on high alert and will field any requests you have. I know some of you are worried about Dr. Bellamy. He's currently being treated in the trauma center uh, in the trauma center and is in critical but stable condition. Thank you for your patience and dedication to this project, Alex Yu. Uh, bad install? Simmons, the test results today were all negative. Did you install the correct neural mods? Touch base with Graves and figure out what went wrong. This should be your absolute highest priority. Alex. Okay. Oh, oh, wait, wait. I think I don't remember the uh, female character's name in uh, Death Trap Dungeon. I think it was Lotus or Black Lotus? Could be, yeah. Uh, Black Lotus is also the name of the uh, commando units of the uh, 
of the Chinese faction in uh, CNC Generals. I'm not sure that those two games are related. Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, yeah, I prefer to use a character's name than use Yender. But oh, but I will use the Yender if I have problems remembering the name. Yeah, the descriptors. <laughs> Even the pilot was fake. Yeah, the descriptors like that can easily help with uh, finding, you know, or at least narrowing things down. And yeah, it's just the same play. We basically were just spun around in a circle and yeah, told to go into the same, brought in the same place, but yeah, just shifted around with the, the, with the decor shifted around. I'll take that. Okay, we have a click, quick select. With the middle mount, which let's see, blue screen. Oh, hello. Preset. Scene switching in progress. Hmm. I need to double check, but I think Dishonored 2 came out before this game, and well, we we know we we certainly remember the Clockwork Mansion from that, huh? And I get the feeling yeah. this might be a little bit of a reference to that as well. Uh, we've read that. Back. Utilities. Scene selection. Rooftop access. Yeah, that hides the station here. Test management. Reset the test rooms to original conf... Okay. Reset. Ah, that's the test chambers here, where, well, we were here. Hello. Typhon Cacoplasmus. Everyone calls them mimics. Be careful what you pick up. I yeah. called it? Yep, they are literally called mimics. And I almost, I almost have forgot that that's what the names were. Yeah, but it, it is actually breaking the glass. Down, boy. Nothing on it. Okay. So, am I the one who gets a very strange system shock vibe from this? I think that was probably a good amount of the vibe they were going for as well. Oh, hello? Yeah. Is this big mm -hmm. vibe different from the original prey they were supposed to make, but ended up mm -hmm. not making? So, as the original. New Prey was supposed to be more like the original, original Prey games that are much older. Uh, let's see. Alex has requested all orders go through him after Morgan's outburst at the debrief. Pending a psych evaluation, Alex indica indicated that he doesn't want any more surprises from Morgan. Nor do we... Granted, Morgan has for had forgotten everything from the last test, as expected, but the aggressive response to the same set of testing criteria was clearly a departure. My recommendation is we need to start charting personality drifts before future tests, in debriefings and within the test itself. Bellamy. Outburst? Uh, I'm pretty sure it wasn't us bursting out of that coffee mug. Also, little drone is dead. Let's see, spare parts. Uh, it can't be taken. Okay. Right. Uh, you, you remember it's... the timer, right? Yeah, it just went off. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I'd say this game is very likely for the yes, uh, <laughs> for the yes stack. Yeah, for first, it was a long time ago I watched this game and I never finished it due to well, all of these got me distracted for it was new when I started watching it. And it was like two, three episodes about that all of these came up. Yeah, it is a very good game. Uh, let's see. There's also the original Prey game, which is very different than this one, with no relation between them at all. And... Hmm. I might have to look if I can get the game that game digitally, because that is also a very good game. 
And apparently the, my yeah. avatar is having a bit of a lazy eye today. Yeah. Uh, I have seen reviews of that other game and it seems a good game, even though I'm not sure we can stream it through to the awesome scenes that would maybe require... Oh. On YouTube, it would do fine for it would not be within the that context. But Twitch are a bit more sensitive about the bare, bare chest. Yeah, it, there's some unpleasant stuff that happens in that game. And yeah, our next game is Prison Architects, and sort of like the same as with Power Wars Simulator. The the title, <laughs> it's the name says it all. This yeah, the same says it right. The name says it all. Blech. Okay. This game has been out for quite some time and has still... Looks like when... Oh. The last update was in February of this year. So yeah, they are still working on it, it seems. Though I... I might have heard about a Prison Architect 2 being in the works. I'm not sure on that. Oh yeah, I recall that. I really hmm. see YouTube trends for it. I thought they must have been released already. Hmm. Oh, yeah, there, there is a campaign here to basically teach you how to make your own uh, prisons and such. But uh, the main draw of this game is to, well, sort of like uh, Zoo Tycoon, uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon, and that sort, and their the Planet Zoo and Planet Roller Coaster stuff more recently. There's to be just make your own stuff and watch it work or watch it deliberately fall apart. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, let's get started on the campaign of this. Campaign slash tutorial. Paradox and double eleven. It is basically the same style. I'd have to check what is the mi if there's any links between this and that. Uh, Ringworld is independent. One okay, may even. maybe the same engine or something. In a world where everyone is a double amputee but still manages to levitate around on sheer spite. Tough one. There is a prisoner incarcerated at this facility who has been convicted of a double murder and sentenced to death. That's where we come in. We've been contracted to construct an execution chamber in time for the guy's big day. Starting all things off uh, nice and uh, lively. That's a bad word. I was thinking after I to think of something smart to say, but. I'm not exactly the smartest to run around. Let's see. This is where I want the new facility to be built. The first step of, with any project like this is to construct the building itself with enough space inside to fit an execution room and a holding cell. So let's get started. Construct a new building here. We will also need an entrance to the new execution facility. Build a large jail door into the southern wall. Okay. So we go here over to foundations. Let's make this a brick building. Put down the foundations of that. Now, that doesn't put it down immediately, but it does tell the workers to get to work. Nope. Yeah, like there. Your workmen are responsible for the construction of buildings. They'll collect the steel and concrete from the storeroom and take it to the construction site. They'll use those raw materials to build the foundations and framework of your new building. This is the slowest part of construction, so you should plan ahead when building new facilities. While we wait, take a look around. Use WASD or the arrow keys to move around and use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Yeah. Oh dear. Okay, in the meantime, we can still build the walls and such. And let's go with brick as well. So there, there. 
I think that's supposed to... Oh, wait. It, we, okay, we can't build on it whilst the foundations are being made, it seems. But yeah, we can take a bit of a look around. And yeah, it has what you ex you'd expect from a, well, prison. There's the cells over here. There's some guards on duty. A shower room, more cells. The canteen. Another block, as they call it. Which, well, cells, showers, and other stuff. And we have also the kitchen here. And the offices. A generator, which is kept far away from where any prisoner should be. So, uh, well, they don't screw around with things. Oh, right. They usually have a lot of guards in the cafeteria. The yeah. Because, well, <laughs> prison uh, food fights, or quote unquote food fights, or just food fights in general in. Uh, <clears throat> In the prison canteens are rather known or rather infamous. Yeah, makes me more concerned it being near the power plant. Since if that fight breaks out, someone can sneak out during that. Uh, come on, Not finish those up. Easy. Or are I more materials it'd be needed? Easy to sneak out during a fight, says they probably got every damn door. Yeah. It would be extremely hard, but not impossible. Uh. Okay, the workers seem to not want to continue with this. Alright, the worker strike. Uh, let's see, foundation. There. Where is. Where's the doors? Exploring also, objects. I doubt we will be streaming this. Yeah. I have watched some people play this, and I never watched it to end for... I should grow bored or just uneasy. It can be interesting to try and plan things out, but it's like, ser seriously, why are they not finishing this up? Foundation in progress. If selected at all, if there's not re enough resources, then they should be getting those, or they should be getting delivered, which they don't seem to be. But well, uh, it's night time. Not that as well, but right they should have probably been arrived yet, unless they are delivered each day now or something. Yeah, which I guess is a bit of an oversight on the on the tutorial to not give you enough materials to actually work with. Yeah, I just realized the workers are still in the storage. But wait, did you put them in? I, 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 I told them to build the foundations, and they've done part of that, but they are just not finishing it, it seems. Yeah, but they all seem to be stuck in the storage room. Look! No, they, they're just doing nothing. Uh, okay, let's try this again. Restart chapter. And, yeah, I guess that counts as another hit against this game, then, if it's going to... if the tutorial breaks that freaking easy. Yeah, skip. Yeah, click, 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 click. There, foundation. Let's try concrete. Is that going to bug them out? Yeah, let's there. let them do that first, before we give them walls. We're now responsible. Okay, they're still putting in some doors over here in the cells. Rooms like that have requirements, of course, like cells require a bed, a toilet, and other stuff. There we go. Okay. Is it going to break this time? Okay. Maybe you uh, ask for something you have a very limited supply of. Uh, construct a building. Foundations in progress. But they just finished the foundations. Or did... Okay, it, something is broken here. Either it's the tutorial itself or the mechanics behind it or something. Because there's very oh, obviously doing, something... I, I'm, I'm selecting it exactly where it tells to. So it's, this is not me doing it wrong. It, 
Well, that makes it really easy. The freaking stupid <laughs> freaking tutorial is broken. Ugh. Not so much for it getting quality of life still. Well, moving on to the next game, because this ha well, this happens sometimes. That games just refuse to work, break, or just otherwise are just not worth the time. Yeah, we will not stream it anyway. Okay. Next one. Uh, I don't see the game. I want to see something else. Uh, you have that uh, pixel wrong or not? Uh, give me something. a sec. Projector the bear. There you go. Okay, that was because GOG was popping up and demanding attention because this is a GOG game, or I have it on GOG at least. This is Project Warlock. I have him. Oh, game, really. It is a showcase of it. Oh, yeah, this game is basically uh, it's it's yeah, it's from what I know, it's similar to a boomer shooter. So uh, yeah, it, but we have lives with this. So uh, let's try on standard. Let's see, entering first steps. Nice art, at least. And yeah, it's a <laughs> it's a retro style, I guess you could call this. Yeah, I think, I think it was inspired by the old Hector games and Doom game. They also thought the thing is before like, oh right, let's make it magical and technological. And yeah. Freaking webs. Okay. No auto aim or such it looks like. Uh, am I out of ammo? Or out of ammo, it seems, yeah. Uh, let's see, we have a bunch of weapons. We have a freaking two-hander. Hard! I hope I see that fucking gun. Yeah, what did you try to say then? Hard! Yeah. It's fine. Spotted. There. Okay. I don't know if there's any uh, Magic Light Spell is now available in the workshop. Okay. I don't know whether this game is supposed to be a roguelite or if it actually has a campaign and such. Hey. Hey? No, no, it should, I think it actually has a campaign. I think this was sort of uh, started causing before roguelikes they started to, to become popular. Uh, or before roguelites almost became as mainstream, if that makes sense. Okay. Uh, nothing on controls. Up oh, there, controls. Uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. Attack. Use magic with right mouse button. Interact with space. Okay. Would it be nice to have a little pop up about that? Got an unlock point, and that's the level. Okay. And we're entering the workshop. Yep. Okay, <laughs> since when do mages have fire extinguishers? Like, mages uh, very much need fire extinguishers, but they typically don't have them. They use a spell for that. Okay. Now, this is our hub world, it looks like. Interact to improve your stats, okay. Melee uh, master, lead collector, treasure hunter, ghosts, okay. Pyromaniac. Strength, life, spirit, and capacity. Maximum carry capacity in your capabilities. Is that supposed to be for gear or such? Like for you can only equip a standard amount of stuff. Upgrade weapons. Buy new spells. Okay. This is all curious, but could use... Well, actually, expl actual explanation about what everything is. Uh, let's see, Medieval, The Prisons, stage, Stages 2. Okay, let's give this a shot. Get sight. Yeah, I think they did make uh, some... Like, they, they take, take an egg of his experience from uh, Hex and then Doom. But from that, they also did uh, to, uh, implement the uh, other uh, quality of life things. Okay. Oh. Yep. Maybe good pixel, I think. Yeah. 
Like really a jump scare. Of, like, <laughs> there's kind of a jump scare if you're getting dropped. The drop scare. That was done with me. Uh, has it, what was this called? Uh, but it's 3D but flattened figures. Uh, not, not sure what that's called. We, we know. Yeah. We showcased a game similar to uh, with the same style before. Uh, in well, Void Bastards, which is a very nice game, if you uh, if I'd be asked. Mm. Music is getting yes. up. Yeah, it's getting started. I don't know if people say the, that mini back then people called it 3D. I don't know if people will say that it's not true 3D. Yeah. It's. It, it... Okay, you can pop out of the ground. Zombies apparently there was a call. Some off dude. Okay, not the typical oops, yeah, not the typical style of zombie, but even as pretty sure oh. that would probably be named uh, succubus normally, but oh well. Maybe. <laughs> I think the demon messes may need a uh, fresh paint or something for the sound. <laughs> but they have it's... a very bad cold. <laughs> and one that infects your throat. Yeah, they, they've got a sore throat from sucking dick. <laughs> they <have> shot that. <laughs> oh. He deserved that. Worth it. Okay, yellow door. Okay, three shots on you. Nothing here. Okay, uh, blue door. Yellow button. Oh. There we go. Spider. Hmm. Okay, I know someone who might be interested in this game. Really? No, uh, not sure if you know them, but Extera. They're from a uh, gate and such. Yeah, I, oh yeah, they, they, I, I don't remember the name and such. I uh, see, I remember them uh, visiting us a few times here. Yeah. Uh, they, they're a fan of boomer shooters, so they, this might be uh, something a kid, they'd like. I don't, don't really remember to them. Uh, let's see, we're back here. I know there's one story, yes. I'm not sure how often that the story appears. Okay. okay, we missed three secrets. Okay. Thanks, you just fuckers. They just called it huge bats. And we just died to bats. <laughs> it's even called E1 M2 that way. Similar to Doom. Okay. Let's see if we restart. We just. Yeah, we just pop up at the start. Okay. There we go. Much better oh, at uh, pest extermination. There. Okay. How does that feel? A lot better than just swinging a sword around. Okay. No, they'll always be useful for stuff like this. Okay. Bunch of doors, bunch of keys we'll need. Yeah. Okay. And also, I feel like the melee weapons are definitely a blessing whenever you run out of ammo. Yeah, and we've got plenty of choice for melee weapon. Can we... Where the heck did you come from? Behind? In front? Okay... Just grab everything. Yep. Uh, boom, boom! Yep. Watch out for the fire. 
Oh, so why are the bats <laughs> spitting bloods? Aren't they typically supposed to drink it? Uh, you, oh, you see what the ground was covered in? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> chunklets. <laughs> chunklets. Yep. Chunklets. <laughs> I hate that word. <laughs> Okay, no need for reloading. Yeah, you could also call them j uh, giblets, I believe. I, I think yeah, that's, but yeah, that's when something gets uh, absolutely destroyed in these old sprite shooters. Or in the old sprite shooters. I think I don't know why I, don't know why I dislike the shunklets. <laughs> why? It's not a sh it's not like chocolate. Except the way you say it is makes me think of chocolate with meat chunks in them, yes. <laughs> Just no okay. I I'm definitely liking this game so far, but not sure about how uh, the streamable it would be for our style. Yeah, well, it has the gameplay in the game. Well, probably is. Uh, I know there is a story. The problem is, I don't know if they don't have like the old school and like, you have to school at start and at the end. Thanks. Okay, we've got a blue key now as well. I guess we could say maybe after investigation. Maybe, yeah, but I'll probably play through this some on my own time as well. Two shots is enough for them. Ooh. I'm curious if this game has location-based uh, damage. Like if headshots will actually do more. The bats are all heads, so they're not a good example for that, trying that. Okay, doesn't look like it. Level up. You popped in somewhere behind me. Okay. Yeah, uh, this, there was also a, a, a somewhat recent game uh, in a similar style to this. Other than Void Bastards. Uh, no, hello. Yes. Hang on. No, yes. yeah. Is it Give Me Father 2? Yeah, I was more meaning the original one. The, I believe the sequel is still to come out. Oh, I mean, I mean it's out on the list. Okay. Well, people have some uh, able to play the previews of it. And, and done. I'm actually, I'm actually curious, Emu, to give me farther. Okay. Not to play uh, yet, but to watch it. Maybe also stream it if it has a rich story. Let's see, cast a spell that eliminates. Let's get that. Weapon upgrades can also use the same currency, are you sure? Uh, what currency? Oh, these unlock currency. It's it's zero, so let's get that. Okay, so, okay, we can now use the right mouse button to light the place up. Let's see, weapons. Well, oh, hello. Point fifty Magnum. This upgrade changes your handgun to into a deadly fifty in point fifty cal Magnum, which uses more ammo but packs way more punch. Use with caution. Player gun. Okay, so some of these are just exchanges instead of uh, separate things. Okay. And the stats, strength, melee damage plus health plus. Maximum mana plus, decreases mana drain and improves spell ca capabilities. And carry capacity, what is that supposed to mean? Like, Probably the, the amount of stuff that we can... Uh, I'm, I'm guessing that it, that means it, it means that at the least. Uh, actually, we have multiple points here already, it seems. Uh, let's up our life, up the capacity, and just more life. Okay. Um, let's do this. Yes. Okay, let's try one more level. Uh, perk points available. Ah, perk 
Uh, let's see. Treasure Hunter. Okay, these... I'm guessing... Yeah, these are not available for some reason. Okay. Uh, the odds of receiving loot drops from enemies and crates are doubled. Uh, what were they doing with that loot, come to think of it? Okay. I, I, I know why you're not able to use them. Look at requirements. Ah, requires... Five spirit, five capacity, okay. Yeah, and treasure hunter required none. Yes, but that's what the only one you could use. Okay. Uh, not seeing much of a story so far, though. Crossbow. And immediately out of ammo. He <laughs> did, okay. Uh. Yeah, th this game looks good and plays nice, but uh, again, I'm unsure. There doesn't seem to, any, to be any real story so far, at least not story that's being relayed to us. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, it takes it, it takes double double ammo. Nice. Okay. There. Okay. Each shot costs two ammo now, and we're exactly out. Okay, so it would be a good idea to go with the dagger or the sword for a small stuff like this. It's it to take not that much of a beating, actually. I thought I'd have to wait on him for a bit. With how much that uh, first uh, hit you seem to do. Oop. Oh, dear. And now, obviously, you can upgrade weapons. It makes me wonder what kind of access and stones you can get for. It probably will be differentiating kind of Let's see, what does this do? A bit slower, but it seems to strike in an arc. Right, you ran into that one myself. Inquisitor. Yeah, <laughs> It's a bit more AOE and it's uh, harder. Fuck yeah. Uh, yeah, I think we've seen enough with that then. Uh, looks like a nice enough game, but probably not for streaming <laughs> unless we're just going to waste time, but for that we can do uh, games like Power Wash. Okay. Yeah. A small investigation can do. I know there's some story to it. Okay. Well, on to game number five, which is also a project game. Uh, it seems to be glitching out for some reason now, or we're. Uh, ah, there we go. Okay. Loading, closing, loading, lost. Indie Stone. An arcade noise works. This is Project Zomboid. <laughs> and this game has quite a bit of a story to it. Because I'm pretty sure during development they had to restart like at least twice. Once due to their source code getting stolen, and one time for uh yeah, somehow losing all of it. <laughs> well yeah, heard of that. Also, did you notice a little something here during the flash of light? Because, yeah, it looks like a concerned husband with uh, his wife, or at least a friend. But when lightning strikes, it may give a bit of a different perspective on that. So, let's see if it'll strike again. Uh, come on. It happened a lot earlier that... You know, or is that on a random timer or something? But yeah, Project Zomboids. The, this game has been going for quite some time, and I think it's still being developed as, as yeah, still. And uh, yeah, this is basically, uh, well, zombie, simula uh, zombie survival, the simulator-ish. And uh, you're not supposed to be able to win this game. Like, the, literally when you start... Um, 
Okay, it's not it's not going to do the flash again, it looks like. So let's just go tutorial. But uh, yeah, the flash of light shows that uh, there is a zombie eating the corp, <laughs> eating them. There was no hope for survival. This is how you died. And yeah, you are fully expected to die. And in that, the developers are sort of in a constant tug of war with the players. As in people keep trying and keep finding ways to actually well, stabilize things and keep going basically in forever if they were to spend enough time on it. Okay. Welcome to Project Zomboid. Soon you'll die horribly. No one will mourn you and you will be swiftly forgotten. Everything will have been for nothing. So let's make sure you go out fighting. And that mascot. Yeah. <laughs> first things first, you can zoom with your mouse wheel or the plus and minus keys. Uh, let's get a bird's eye view of the lonely place where you're about to die, miserable and alone. So zoom out. Zoom back in. You're good at this. Now let's have a look at your character information. Click the flashing hearts. Here you can see your health status, scratches, bites, bleeding, broken limbs, all listed for your convenience. It's also here that you can bandage and treat wounds. Uh, do you know about good, uh, the, the, another good panel? The skills panel. Let's click on the skills tab. There. Awesome. It, it's, it, really be, it, it really will be such a shame to lose you. Uh, this panel shows your points and various different survival skills. And as you can see, that's quite a few and quite a bit of depth to it as well. In-game activities build up skill points that level you up in each discipline. Learning speeds can be increased by reading books and watching certain TV shows. Ultimately, your brain will become cold dead sludge, but in the meantime, why not learn carpentry? Time to take off these training wheels, lady. Close the character panel by clicking the cross and we'll move on to the next exciting aspect of survivor life. If... It's looking at stuff. Woo. <laughs> Pull down the right mouse button and move the mouse. You'll turn to face any angle. Yep. Plot twist. You can only see in the direction you're facing. Yeah. Everything else, you'll, well, you'll still quote unquote see what you last saw. But if there is movement, if things are changing, then you won't know you won't notice them. Oh, uh, realistic both can be annoying. It makes sense. Yeah, swift and unexpected death can come from behind, whether from the undead host or your fellow man. Let's get some blood pumping before it congeals and rots. Move around with the WASD keys. When it walk into the adjacent room, it's definitely safe. Definitely not. See, told you it was safe. Now let's strafe. Holding the right mouse button will let you look while walking. This will help you line up attacks and watch your back. Yep. Strafing with I, A and D. I don't trust that stack trophy. It looks a bit uh, Evil Dead. Yeah, I, I get the Evil Dead vibes from this room. <laughs> I'm always picking us to fight the Gnomicon. Yeah, I... I I once almost had one of these things fall on my head, but it was instead of boar. And uh, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I don't trust the stupid things, or rather the things ha keeping them up. Let's see. Dead person alerts. You're going to have to do some looting if you want to survive an attack. Head back to the marked counter in the kitchen and we'll learn to steal. Or just learn to scavenge. Ooh. Starvation can be de delayed by looting food from the homes of the recently deceased. Move your mouse over the loot panel and expand it. A dead mouse to pick it up, let's double click. Really? We should probably pick up that energy needs. bottle too. <laughs> Dying of thirst is horrid. Okay. Let's uh, see those moodles on the right. Looks like someone's got a rumbly tummy. Time to eat. Right click on the dead mouse in your inventory to see interaction options. Eat the wait, dead wait, mouse. Wait, 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 wait. The mo dead mouse is rotten. Yeah. Well, that's a bit of a, a snack, I guess. That's better, apart from the nausea. To learn about what each Moodle, uh, Moodle means, move your cursor over them. And uh, yeah, peckish, you could do with a bite. Nausea, take things easy. Or queasy, take things easy. 
Okay. Oh, hey, better fill up your bottle before the water supply is cut off. That will happen in the game eventually, no matter what. Right-click items in the world will bring, uh, will bring up the interaction options. Move next to the sink and click it to fill up. Yep. Yeah. Fill empty bottle. Oh, I said it. Don't eat rotten meat. Don't. Yes, that, sh <laughs> that should not have to be told, but in this game, even doubly so, because you'll get sick. Yeah, like... One thing you do eat it prepared, fermented, but that's it, it, it's prepared in a certain way, way it's still edible. I mean, it's disgusting. Yep. Yes, I feel it's disgusting in fermented food. Yeah, certain fish but, definitely comes to mind. Yeah, he, he loves Sue Strong for some reason. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Apparently, water gets, you know, is drunk. Water, uh, you yeah, you drink water from your inventory automatically. That's nice. Okay. Uh, you can look at nearby containers by walking close to them with the loot panel open. Every container within reach can be opened with a left click. Okay. Well, it's near enough a weapon, a <laughs> frying pan. Right click. Equip primary. That will take a moment. Okay. Oh my, is it getting hot in here? Let's pop open a window and get some fresh air while your lungs are still inflated. <laughs> Okay. That can be taken out of context so badly and rudely. <laughs> a zombie in a hat. Let's get out there. Press, uh, pressing E will interact with objects in front of you, most notably doors and windows. E to open. I was saying, okay. Maybe a good makeshift weapon? Probably is the handle is likely not me to handle too many strikes. Yeah. Okay, she hasn't seen us. Holding the right mouse button will ready your weapon for an attack. Um, I should met a cursor. Da -da -da, um, strafe up. That's it, head woman. <laughs> you see what I'm seeing? Uh, a sombrero and a knife stuck in their back. Yep. There. Knock, knock. Take that, mom. What? <laughs> uh, you could also have pressed space to shove her, but right now we need to go for the heads. The isometric thing cursor is vital for this. Okay, so is your mouse position in relation to the floor. Line yourself up using right mouse button and use the circle at the bottom of the cursor to target the head. Bash with the left mouse button when you're in place. And yeah. As with most zombies, uh, going for the heads will do the best work. Yeah, okay, and I think you broke the frying pan. Yeah. The frying pan broke. Your mother's skull is really thick. That's borrowed a hunting knife we planted in our back earlier. Okay, Wait. using equip. Wait, that was actually our character's mother? Apparently. You hear that? There's more. Move up to the gate in the tall fence. Press E to open or click on it. Okay. A vegetative okay. shambler in the vegetable garden, but he's got enough brain function to see you. If you sneak, you'll make less noise and you'll be less visible. See the crouch. Yeah, trading speeds for stealth. And it looks like they're numbing on someone. <laughs> well, it look it's like you're invisible. I mean, we've maxed out your skill here, your skills here, but that is impressive. If you sneak close to a wall, fence, or a vehicle, you'll crouch lower and reduce your visibility even more. Okay. I don't know if I like that really uh, red like raccoon. <laughs> there. Okay. There's some special forces stuff right here. Strafe close behind him with the knife. Your arm will raise to show you're in place for a stealth attack. Okay, that's new. Okay. There. Whilst we're sticking our hand in our backpack, basically. Okay. And... Uh, Insert the Assassin's Creed noises there. Okay, you you did it. No more daddy issues. Now take his bag and put it on. Make sure you're standing by the corpse. Uh, let's see. Now that's the other corpse, I think. That they were nomming on. Uh, Right-click the large backpack in the loot panel. Uh, game. It's the wrong... Oh, right. So you, when there's multiple things nearby, you can click over here to switch between. So yeah, let's take the backpack. Backpacks and such are really useful in this game because they allow you to carry more. They put... Uh, they reduce the amount of weight of the stuff in it. 
Okay, you've wanted this large backpack for years, and now it's yours. Let's see what's inside. Find a flash, uh, flashing large backpack on the side of the inventory there. Oh, wait, it's got a shotgun. Load the shotgun and some bandages. We all, we Ooh. always do our best for you. Equip it in both hands. Yeah, in, in both hands. There we go. Swapping weapons always takes a bit. And okay, I'm guessing it takes longer now to take it out. In the, oh, the window in that shed just broke right on time. Vault the vents and let's check it out. Running at the vents will make you jump over it automatically. Okay. Shifts to run. Standard basic stuff. That was a prepper, but he didn't prepare for you, did he? Let's take his gear. Ignore the glass shards. Very bad idea with this. Because, yep, we're now bleeding. Oh no, your hands are bleeding. The broken glass in the window shredded them. Who saw that coming? Open the health panel. Yeah, scratched and bleeding. The bandages from the backpack will help. Right-click the text. And, yeah, select what to use. There we go. Now, let's check our side in case there's more molding flash automatons. Uh, move to the curtained window. Curtains stop you seeing out, but they also stop the horde seeing in. Open the curtain, it's probably safe. Probably not. Okay, that's actually less than I was expecting. I was expecting the entire place to be filled. Two of them. Three of you count your sister on the floor there. But I get some improved protection from their nails and teeth. Thicker clothing and headwear help protect from bites and scratches. Put on what you think is best for a final encounter. Once you're ready, head through the door. Okay. There. Uh, let's see. Denim, leather, lumberjack shirts. It does show stats on these stuff, like insulation against heat and cold, wind resistance, water resistance. Um, military boots, military desert camo. Uh, let's see. Let's go with... Hmm. Your boots make sense. Out ah, there. Bites defense and such. Scratch defense. Bites are... Bites are basically fatalities for your character. Because if, if you are bitten, you are as good as certain to be infected. And then death is inevitable. There is no cure. Scratches also have a chance of... Uh, Infecting you, but a much smaller one. Okay, let's see. Anything else here with... Yep, bite defense. Denim shirts. Uh, hoodie. Okay. Yep, military boots. Yeah, I did mention them. <laughs> okay. Now, wear everything. It does say if something is a plus or minus when you're trying to equip it. Uh, oh, I just remember something. You, you remember being a bit spooky about the Zeus strumming? Yeah. Apparently, no, no, we have their own version. Like, is it? These are sort of Zeus strumming, but they we sell them in small metal cans. Oh well, not that metal containers. Norwegians, they sell their loot fisk in big bags. Okay. Let's That's see. permanent fish as well. If you have high enough skills and aren't exhausted, then tall fences can be climbed. You have those skills it's E to climb over. There we go. So athletic, time to make some noise. Ready the shotgun. Aim for the running dead man by holding the right mouse button. Yeah, the cursor comes in like this. Uh, here they come. An outline on this of this color shows a good chance uh, of connecting with the target. Uh, I, I think it's turned off at the moment. So let me just take a look. Uh, let's see. If for some stupid reason, this stays or this starts turned off, I think. Uh, let's see. Where's the highlight thing? Accessibility. Uh, leave key in ignition. No. Uh, good highlight color isn't. No. Where is it? Simple weapon textures. Because I'm taking aim, but it's not showing it. 
So that's a bit of a flaw in your tutorial there, game. Okay, they're all dead, so sad. Never mind, soon we'll all be together again. Every zombie in the forest heard the shotgun and they're coming for you. Yeah, guns are strong, but typically for every zombie you kill with it, you'll, you'll uh, attract like 6 to 12 more. They're getting close. You know how to run, uh, There's, but here's how to sprint. Sprint to the marker by the outhouse now. Oh, okay, alt to, to sprint, okay. Last advice, if you, if you ever get a zombie bite or fear one is imminent, then press Q and you'll swallow the antidote. Uh, press, there's no antidote, so what the heck is... Uh, yeah, only kidding, <laughs> all hope is gone, there is no antidote, have fun. Well, fuck this stupid... Uh, that, that's more what I was expecting earlier. Yeah, let's get back over this. <laughs> but of course, there's weak points in this thing, so uh, yeah. And as you can see, there, well, there's always going to be more zombies than there is going to be of you. And especially when you run out of ammo, so, uh, yeah. Bye-bye. <laughs> you died. For further help in the main game, press F1 to open the survival guides, return to the main menu, and then survive the Nox event for real. Uh, yeah, you're not going to survive anyways. <laughs> But uh, yeah, this game may look rather simple, but the underlying mechanisms are quite uh, quite complex. Because like I said, or like the game also said, uh, <clears throat> uh, the water will eventually get cut off, the electricity will uh, eventually get cut off. So all the stuff that you, well, all the, your fresh water sources are going to become a lot more limited. And you're going to need to start finding fuel for power and such for watching those training videos for carpentry and all that sort of stuff. And yeah, I believe you can start again with a character in a in a world, uh, but you'll be like, you'll have to start all over again. You can go to your last base if it wasn't overrun by a horde, which will randomly just wander around the areas. And you can find your previous character likely zombified, as you can see here. Sudden desire to eat people. Uh, but yeah, there, this is a good game, and it definitely has lore, but it's the only active story is the one that uh, you create for it. Or you and friends and, uh, well, the world as it fights you. This game doesn't have a narrator AI like, say, Left 4 Dead, I believe. So it won't, I, it won't try to actively torment you as much, I think. But yeah, starting this game is starting a losing battle because you will sooner or later die. And yeah, there you could see it. Yeah, not so wholesome as it looks, huh? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, again, good game, but on our for us it's on the no pile. This one though, give it a sec for boardless. <laughs> yeah, double fine. <laughs> Do I even need to say anything about them or this game? Yeah, uh, Psychonauts. Almost unknown for me. Almost. That, well, that's actually a good thing then, I'd say, because this is considered a cult classic, and oh, just yeah. the fact that, that we're moving around... <laughs> we're, oh, the main menu is us running around on an actual brain. I hate it. <laughs> Let's see, start a new game, continue, and uh, load. Oh. Let's start a new game. Trippy is going to be a common thing with this game. Mine. 
600 miles of synaptic fiber, five and a half ounces of cranial fluid, 1,500 grams of complex neural matter, a three-pound pile of dreams. But I'll tell you what it really is. It is the ultimate battlefield and the ultimate weapon. The wars of this modern age, the psychic age, are all fought somewhere between these damp, curvaceous undulations. From this day forward, you are all psychic soldiers, paranormal paratroopers, mental marines who are about to ship out on the adventure of their lives. This is our beachhead, and this is your landing craft. You shall engage the enemy in his own mentality. You shall chase his dreams. You shall fight his demons. You shall live his nightmares. And those of you who fight well, you will find yourselves on the path to becoming international secret agents. In other words, psychonauts. The rest of you will die. <laughs> Oh, Maury. Children, you are not going to die. Well, if you're not a psycho doc, then you might as well be dead. They told me this was a summer camp. Ah, <laughs> oh, Dogen. Don't worry about old Coach Oleander. I've been coming here for years, and trust me, nothing ever happens. Yeah, Dogen, Lily's right. You don't got nothing to worry about. Except for that giant monster in the lake I was telling you about. Bobby Zilch! I told you to stop scaring people with that ridiculous old legend. I don't want the kids to be afraid to go out at night and walk alone on the perfectly safe paths of Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp. And we don't want to scare our special guests, Superstar Psychonauts Sasha Nine and Mia Vodello. Light Monster! Formation. It's resisting. Quick, bring it over here. Is it? It's just a little boy. What's your name, darling? I'll find out. Kid, get in! My name starts with a D. Is Rasputin. <laughs> but everybody calls me Raz. Please don't kill us, Lake Monster! Compelling. Armored like a tank! Sorry I'm late. I don't want to disrupt your briefing, Agent Oleander. Agents 9, Vodello, please, continue. Where do you think you're going? You've broken into a highly classified remote government training facility. I know. Isn't it great? Listen, why don't I just sit over here quietly with my fellow psychedets? Hey, how's it going? I like your hat. We need to have this young man taken from here immediately. I'll call his parents. What? But don't you train psychonauts here? Yes, darling, but... To soar across the astral plane. To wage psychic warfare against the enemies of free thought. That is what I wrote on the front of the pamphlet. Those words are why I'm here, Coach Oleander. Do you remember what you wrote on the inside of that pamphlet? You were born with a special gift. But the people around you treat it like a curse. Your mother is afraid of you. And your father looks at you with shame in his eyes. Come to Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp, and you can show them all. Back home, your powers make you a loner, an outcast, a circus freak. But in this dojo, in this psychic dojo, 
They make you a hero. Get that soldier a bunk. Familiar voice? No, darling. You can stay here for a few days until your parents come for you, but we can't let you participate in any paranormal training without your parents' consent. I'm sorry. Wowie, you're so lucky. You get to go home soon. Home? Back there, I was just like you were, Dogen. Punished by my own family for having powers I never asked for. But here, I have a chance to be something. To make a difference. They may come for me, Dogen. But they'll be looking for Raz, the boy. What they're going to find, what they don't expect, is Raz, the Psychonaut. And, and, and then you'll make their heads explode? No. Do you do that? No. Well, once kinda. But now I wear this special hat. Wanna try it on? No, no, no. But he has mental defenses like I've never seen in someone so young. If I could just get him in my lab for some experiments, I'm sure he could withstand more than the others. That kid's one in a million, Nine. But I'm not gonna let you turn him into one of your guinea pigs. I got big plans for that mind. Bit of a long yeah, intro. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Raz is uh, voiced by a voice actor who is quite known these days. Though not extremely well known like Steve uh, Steve Blum. But uh, yeah, they are currently voicing uh, Moxie in Has Been Hotel and other fan works and uh, well, official shows like uh, Invader Zim. No, not in That's why the right official show. Yep. I, I think I messed up there. Like I said official fan shows, but the official shows like Invader Zim and such. But from what I've heard, he's a he's a cool guy. But yeah, let's make a profile. And well, this is a double fine game, so there is just weirdness and wackiness all over the place. Yeah, okay. There, Raz. Profile made. <laughs> and just well. The absurdism of everything being shaped differently. Alright, settle down in here! Big day tomorrow! I want to see each and every one of you rugs in my classroom at 0600 hours on the dot! I'm the early bird, and you're the worms. Got it? Now, lights out! Okay, interesting bit with that, actually. I made a, a profile on another place, and it actually gave a different camera angle on that. Need a little detail. Okay, quick eye exam before we start. Huh? Look over that way if you will. Wow, what's that? Oh, that's a side challenge marker. The staff scatters these all over the camp to test the students. Every one of these you find advances you a whole rank. Uh-huh. Now look up for me if you will. Hmm. Some of the old markers have fallen apart. You'll find bits of them flapping around loose. If you find enough of these side cards, you can put them together to make a brand new challenge marker. But you have to buy a side core at the camp store to hold them together. Keep ranking up, and before you know it, you'll be able to use brand new psychic powers. Stuff you didn't even know you could do. And then when do I become a psychonaut? Because I have to do that before my dad shows up to take me home. Hey, where'd he go? That guy looks so familiar. Let's see. To change your camera presence, your preferences, press escape to open your journal and select options. Always nice. But yeah, this game is just an absolute cult classic. And hey, Raz! Hurry up! You don't want to be late for basic braining! Woohoo! Basic braining is the best class ever! Okay, the last one that just popped into existence. Yeah, this is an old game. This game is from the Zeros, I believe. So it is uh, a bit janky here and there, as if this whole world doesn't look like freaking jank. <laughs> from, that, from the genetic level up, pretty much. But yeah, 
this game is just I I mainly want to play, I mainly want to stream the sequel of this game which everyone wanted or all of the fans of this wanted but nobody actually expected to ever re be released but yeah then they released the, <laughs> the sequel finally and from what I've heard it is a really great game and I do want to play it but uh, wait. Okay, for a moment I thought it was talking about save cards or something like it was a port. Uh, yeah, I, I know the basic story of this game. I've seen it be played through once or twice. And I definitely be, would be up for streaming it before we would stream the sequel. I would be as well. Okay, uh, yeah, I would now where for PS1 What? Yeah, let's just say that more way. That had been confused for a moment. PS1. Yeah, they called it a memory card. Yeah. Hey, where are you going, Luke? Shh, I snuck out. That class is a death trap for crazy people. Listen, the coach is strong. At the start of class, he pulls you into his mind, and then there's nothing you can do about it. But once you're in, you can use these smelling salts to sneak out. Take mine. I don't need them anymore. I'm calling my parents to come get me before I get hurt. Too late! Mommy! Ah! Hey, kid! You owe me five arrowheads for this week's protection service. Cough it up, my loser, or you'll be coughing up bloody tears. Hey, leave him alone. I heard a rumor that you were raised in the circus. Well, let me put this in terms you'll understand. I'm the strong man around here. Really? Because you look more like the cotton candy. <laughs> Benny, put this kid's death on my to-do list. Come on, we'll see him in class. Yeah, we'll settle this on the battlefield. <laughs> okay, that was a good one. Okay, let me actually see if there's anything on s subtitles. Uh, yep. But, uh, options. Uh, sounds. Are we going to have to hunt? Uh, there we go. Subtitles on. Just for the people who want it. And for any, well, any case where we mishear things. And yeah, the, the graphics of this game are very clearly dated. Uh, but I think it adds to the charm with how everything looks weird. Obviously, it, it has aged well. Like, I get, this is probably why I prefer more cartoony or shapes in or games that not try to be hyper realistic. For games like these, each usually, not always, usually better. Yeah, like everything looks like a cartoon, so the graphics don't need to be uh, photorealistic or anything. Though I wouldn't mind seeing this game get the ghost ship treatment eventually, with a remaster or remake. Coach Oleander, I'm reporting for basic braining. Son, do you realize that to take my course, I will have to pull you into my mind, and you will have to relive oh, every bullet-scarred memory of every battle I have ever faced. It won't be pretty. Are you sure you wouldn't rather run around a bit more in the sunshine first? <laughs> it is Ghost Ship who has been making those remakes recently a lot, right? Or am I getting that wrong? What should I know? Uh, I'm not sure. Wait, Ghost Ship? It rings a bell. Yeah, I, I do think it's them. I think their most recent thing they're working on, or that I know of, is a Star Wars Dark Forces remaster. But yeah. I'm ready, sir. Well then. You're late, soldier. Now get in here and give me 20. And yeah, it wouldn't so, be a game about psychics. This is it. The mental world. <laughs> it looks like a dentist office. A mental dentist office. 
It's a recruiting office, kids. And I'm here to recruit you for the greatest job in the world, being a psychonaut. It's about fighting a war for mental freedom. Are you ready to face torture, insanity, and death? Because this is your last chance to chicken out. Oh, me, sir. I'd like to chicken out, please. Too late, soldier. But you said... There's only one way out of here. Fighting! I want one of you chickens to sock me square in a jaw. I warn you, once you do, the war is on. Okay, insert the spot the main, main protagonist's uh, joke here, because someone is very obviously with a lot more... Like this, <laughs> I guarantee it. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. Let's go, go, go! What kind of obstacle course is this? That kid just got killed. A mental obstacle course, you bleeding heart. He's not dead. His astral projection just got kicked out of my mind. And I'll kick your astral projection out of here, too, if you don't get moving right now. Oh, come on. <laughs> and yeah, most of the levels in this game will actually be the minds of other people. And well, I think it's very obvious what uh, Oleander's uh, deal is. Yeah, bro, I missed it. It is for the room. None of those games you just don't want the one to feel like. Keep free to play this? You can run right through pigments. They help you rank up, and when you rank up, you earn new psychic powers. So whenever you see a pigment, suck it up, soldier! Yeah, these are collectibles. We'll find plenty. Yeah, you'll, you'll find plenty of these. Hey, what are you staring at? We all have emotional baggage, kid. Why don't you make yourself useful? Sort some of it out while you're in here. Keep your eyes peeled for a tag that matches. Could be anywhere. And yeah, the game can be a bit literal on something like. Literal emotional baggage, as in baggage that being emotional. <laughs> and yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure this game was rated for teens at least. This is definitely not uh, PG-13 for everyone. Yeah. Now, you will pick up that tag and you will put it on that bag you just found. Unless you'd rather just drop and give me plenty right now. I think his voice broke there for a bit. <laughs> you... <laughs> okay, moving on. You hit that ladder hard, son. Show it who's boss. I can learn something. This was for PS2, right? I think it was from that era about, yeah. Yeah, I learned something that finally onto something be me and my friends had time and confusion about. Now we know, I know, uh, why sometimes it was a bit weird to play with the uh, PS2 controllers. No. Apparently, the X button was special. For, if you press gently, as if you were to run a game, press X, you run gently. But if you press harder, you will run faster. Okay. Our motor I don't think they use the technology anymore on the maybe on the new controllers. I don't know that they almost felt wait. That could explain so many things. He climbed his pole. Okay, and yeah, I'm pretty sure there is at least a few layers of PTSD going on in this guy's mind. Oh, while well, you were away, your game was automatically paused. Uh, oh, okay, that's a nice little feature. Apparently the game got deselected or something. Uh, you can still see everything? I can see everything. Okay, just making sure. Watch hmm. out! Fire down below! <laughs> Okay, yeah, we can, as a platformer, we will, of course, be able to take <laughs> damage, though it's not like we go down in one hit. We can't get past this! This is stupid! 
bit. Hmm. Looks like a test. There's probably a secret, more advanced route. What's that supposed to mean? You think you're more advanced than me, new kid? Sorry, what? I'm not stupid. You're stupid. The coach is stupid. The whole camp is stupid. That thing flying at you is stupid. What's flying at me? Whoa. <laughs> Bobby Zelch's foot, that's what? You stupid new kid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> thanks for saving me. Well, actually, I was saving this plant. Huh. Never seen one so meaty before. I have. It's been appearing in this creepy nightmare I keep having. You're having nightmares? Oh, I've been reading about how to fix those. Will you let me see one? Hmm, no. Okay, back here. Uh, let's see. I think we just have to double jump around this. Am I the only one who feels that the blue still scream love interest? Uh, yeah. Less waiting, more motivating! <laughs> That's not how you motivate people, <laughs> coach. Okay, but yeah. Uh, like I said, I'm mostly interested in the sequel, but I would be up for streaming this game first. It would make sense. Yeah. Provided it would move me. Well, it's been working so far. Without any actual need for, uh, You're like adjusting. You're like going uphill in January! With crutches! Okay. Uh, he's very colorful with his, uh, comparisons there. Uh, yeah. I don't know I have been you have probably not, in the past you want to use the mode games. It has these small clips I I think your name most of them. Joey. No. Cause I'm gonna call you Slowy Joey. That's not my name. What was that, Slowy? I can't hear ya, you're talking too slow. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah. From what little I have seen of this game, I have been concerned of uh, it might be bad for my own mental health. Okay. Yeah, the the choice is up to you whether to... Well, the second game also goes into rather heavy stuff. So, yeah, uh... Yes, but it was taking a little bit difficult. Well, yeah, I'll leave the choice to you. Yeah, I've been fond on it. Okay. Now that kind of wall, you can climb it up, down, sideways, whatever way you want. Just get on it, quick, like a mm -hmm. monkey. But yeah, before, as I said, I, I'm willing, not to do stream with this, but I do have my concerns. Hey, Dogen, what's wrong? I keep blowing up. Follow me. I'll help you through the mines. Okay. Well, this can totally not go wrong. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, he's... I can't I... do it. Cool. I can't do it. Go ahead. Boop, boop. Is the mission in this era? I'm surprised, I'm surprised he didn't set one off there. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, get a year, you numb nuts. Look, Raz! I didn't explore at all. Good hustle out there. Hey. Um, this is for helping me out. Okay, bye. Psychic arrowhead. Draw energy will contribute value to your arrowheads in small amounts, but I think you'll find they'll add up over time. Okay. Uh, I earlier. Okay. And I think we're about to hit the end of the timer. Uh, yeah, literally 14 seconds. Okay. But, yeah. 
We'll see about uh, whether to do this one or not. Okay, let's at least finish here, and then we'll call it off. Is there like a great go next to this one? Didn't I go for you? Uh, no one told me to pack a shoot. Did Washington have a shoot when he crossed the Delaware? Just to the end of our stay, and then we turned left. And then we turned right. Yeah. Okay. And then we turned soft. And then I gave Lady. Let's just escape whatever that insanity was. Uh, okay. Hey, look! It's Raz! Yay! Raz is here! Yeah! Maybe you'll be able to beat this darn game! We can't do it! Yeah, we're no good, and the coach won't open the gate until someone wins! Yay! Raz! Just punch that to start! Okay, mini games. But uh, yeah, we'll s we'll hear back from you whether to uh, continue with uh, to stream this one or not. Okay. Yeah. Actually, the this desktop. Is how heavy they go? They go into things. Hmm. Okay. And um, nope, that's actually good on time since <laughs> that's two hours now. So, okay. Let's head on over here then. And yeah, that, that was actually a decent batch, I'd say. So yeah. let's see. So, let's there's two games that are very heavy leading, yes. One solo, mm -hmm. yes, at least. And Warlock is a. I would say that's a hesitant maybe. Yeah, why can't I click on other. What the heck is going on with the browser? Okay. Uh, hmm. Uh, let's see. From top to bottom, we have Power Wars Simulator, maybe for uh, just podcast like streams. Prey, what would you say about that one? That one is one of those, I would say, uh, heavy leaning, yes. Okay. Uh, okay, what is up? The moment I click on the browser, it seems like it acts like it's the background. Uh, okay. Uh, next. Wait, no, it's... Wait, something else is going on here. Like, nothing is interacting. Give me a second. Task manager is something broke. Yeah, there is definitely something being funky. Come on. Now even that is acting like it. I can't click it. Something... What is going on? Uh... Hmm. Okay, weird. Might have to go without a raid then, because, well, I can't actually see who are online with this, because nothing wants to interact, it seems. And uh, now everything is back. Show desktop. Okay, Being now I can click things again. Land. Okay, bring OBS projector back up. Movement again for you? Yeah. I can okay. see you. That was weird. So something must have been just demanding something of the mouse or something or whatever anyways uh power wars maybe for podcast like just sh shooting the shit streams pray uh, yes uh prison architects probably yeah, just no. no there's there is a short campaign but yeah if the tutorial breaks that easy on the literal foundation or literal and figurative foundation then that's a nope uh then we have Project Warlock. Yeah, we'll need to look into that, because if there is story, it's definitely not putting it forward. Like, it might be stuff like Dark Souls-ish, and it's more just lore hidden around everywhere. But, but yeah, I'm not really interested in... You have in, an uh, intro story, then the end story, but nothing between. Okay, so like a medieval, which we put a no on as well, so... Uh, I would say old school. Okay, Project Zomboids, good game, but not our style. And Psychonauts, well, we'll hear back on that. Yeah, I, I'm leaning yes. It will depend on how dark of topics they go into. Like, you I, I, know, mm -hmm, I know it goes... Mm, okay, I, some of this would be spoilers, but I'll, I'll let you look it up yourself, hopefully without spoilers. 
But there are some dark stuff in there, but not like grim dark stuff. That might be happening. I know I may have this for, for maybe one of the final characters or the second game, but not the rest. Okay. It was heavy, but I was able to handle it, but it did, uh, it did make me a bit concerned from uh, that uh, character that made me think, should I really be there when we play this? Do it again. I was a bit of a depressed mood when I watched it already, so... Okay. Yeah. May have uh, infected my... Infected? Uh, affected, affected my uh, opinion. Yeah. Okay, now that I can actually click on things, to change the screen share, let's see. We have Sensei Tadpole, who is streaming Deliver Us Mars. Uh, double check, oh, yeah, everything is muted. Right. Uh, Starnak is playing Amnesia the Bunker, very good game. So Rolvis is playing Alan Wake 2. Uh, <laughs> talk about coincidences. Isaiah Rozier is playing Psychonauts. <laughs> Kiri Natsuyoko, Final Fantasy XIV. <laughs> uh, Kaine is playing Minecraft. Nothing that says obviously modded, except for some quality of life stuff from the looks of it. It looks a lot very modded, those bookshelves. Uh, no, th those are actually... Are those ap apotheosis? Probably. They're, they're probably playing a mod pack, but I can't tell which. Anyways, next we have Roko, who is having a special event. It's their third anniversary, apparently. And All right. in my own house. Does that mean that they moved into a home of their own? It's okay. And let's see. That's about it. So who would you say to rate? Hmm. Let's see. Where is Isaya in with this? This looks somewhere mid-game-ish. To yeah, my it, limited recollection. Either Isaiah or... Kenai? I'm unsure now. Hmm. Actually, let... <laughs> Sens shall we uh, raid Sensei since typically he is lurking with us? Yeah, l let, let's go for Sensei, get all the surprise. <laughs> Okay. Um, uh, damn this note for once. I'm guessing Tatum is going to give a heads up there because they're in chat with them and they're also lurking. Hello there, Tato. <laughs> the little fair is spying on us. Okay. Slice raid and paste. But before we start that, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Uh, thank you, uh, yeah, thank you, Marco and Tatum for hanging around a bit. And uh, thank you as always, Bakir. Welcome as always, my friend. And thank you all for joining. Okay. Now, if Rom is up for it, we might have uh, an LA Noir stream tonight in about three hours. If not, we'll continue with Deadbolt. All right. I'm up for that. Okay. Um, yeah, we will have to... Uh, right, we already decided on our second side, uh, side game. Uh, deadlights and uh, yeah we'll have to we'll have to just see how things continue tomorrow not tomorrow yet yeah, yeah, tomorrow and uh, we'll probably have a stream on Halloween itself or at least we'll try to have a group stream probably of uh, left for dead and I've also been invited to uh, yeah, some multiplayer mayhem later in the day may stream that uh, may not we'll have to see yeah, or rather also, in the we evening. We talked about to maybe stream next this coming week now. We start tomorrow. As a last spooktober week, except on Friday. Since yeah, that's yeah. probably the hardest day to stream on. Yeah, we'll, we'll just but, have uh, to see about that if we how much we can get in. Like I I would definitely yeah. be up for more in SSA madness with the others on Wednesday. <laughs> Oh yeah, and hmm, we could start with Deadlight early since it it, it was like two streams long or something. About it is a short game. Yeah, so if we were to start it tomorrow, and might be able to finish it in the weekend. 
Mm. And the next weekend, I think I take it. You mean? And uh, if we started tomorrow, then continue it on the weekend. There would be two streams or three. Mm. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. We we'll have to see about that because uh, there's the evening thing that I've been invited to. Uh, if if we do a if we do do. Actually, no, Liz wouldn't be able to do that. Uh, hmm. Okay, we'll see how many streams we do tomorrow, if any at all. The two circumstances, we'll just have to see how things go with that. But yeah, we'll at least try to get some stuff done. Yeah, no, hmm. nothing written in stone. We will see how much we can do. Yeah. Within moderation. But for now then, let's start the raids and uh, yeah. Thank you all again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, everyone, and watch out for 100 seagulls. <laughs> and psychonauts and all other bullshits like mimics. <laughs> <laughs> yes, definitely watch out for mimics.